V300 Perjure Commissioning. Safety first. Installation should be performed only by qualified personnel who have read and understood all the supporting material. First, we'll take a look at the V300 controller. The controller itself consists of a screen and six buttons. So the up arrow, the down arrow, menu button, enter button, knit, and turn buttons. The first of the three steps we're going to look at is initialization. Upon power up, the V300 purger should fill with water, but this is going to show you how to refill the bubbler. From the main menu, press menu and then enter to enter the startup menu. At this menu, you should be able to press and hold the init key in order to fill the bubble with water. Step two is setting up the date and time. From the main menu, press the menu key, toggle down to setup, press enter, and then set date and time. From here, you can set the date format, the time format, and then actually set the date and time. Select the appropriate date format. Select the appropriate time format, either 12 or 24 hour time. And actually set the current date and time. First is selecting the current year, followed by the month, then finally the day. Confirm the day of the week. Enter in the hour and the minute, and then whether it's a.m. or p.m. On this screen, you can check to see the current date and time, make sure it's all set up correctly. The third step is to set up the purge options, purge type and purge points. The first one we're gonna look at is the auto. From the main menu, go down to Purge Options and select Auto. Here you select the number of points. For each point, you can select the purge time. The next purge type is Manual. Here you will again select the number of purge points and the purge time for each point. The difference is in the manual mode, the purge must be manually started by pressing the init key. The purge can be terminated by pressing the turn. Third option is time-based. Here you select the time to start and the time to stop your purge process. Set your start time, set your end time. The purger will only activate during this time. Bring up a screen where you can check to see what you've entered. Here we're cycling back to the auto purge type, which is the default. And I'll take a look at our overview screen. After steps one, two, and three are complete, the purger should be fully operational. On the overview screen, you can check the current date and time, as well as some information about the current purge cycle. The last thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to adjust the backlight and contrast. By pressing the enter and turn buttons at the same time, you'll enter the display settings menu. Here you can adjust the backlight, as well as the contrast of your display. This concludes our video. For further assistance, please give us a call. Review the supporting literature or visit us online at parker.com slash revspec.